Last question. Paul from Birmingham, Alabama wrote in asking, I've got a Direct TV HR21 that I'm considering adding an external ESATA drive. I would like to copy my saved movies and TV shows prior to adding the external drive, then restore them back to the external drive afterwards. Basically, he wants to save his content and watch it too. I don't want to hack into it as it's a leased unit, and I don't want to try to play or edit anything externally, just back up and restore. I can access the DirecTV unit on my network, but its content is apparently blocked from Windows 7. Is there any way around this, Paul? Okay, the nice thing about our DirecTV boxes, Paul, is that upgrading the storage capacity is as easy as plugging in an external drive over that eSATA port. And then you lose access to all the stuff you already have recorded on the internal drive. DirecTV to PC, no help. It is locked down so you can only stream programs off the DirecTV mothership that, that HR21 box you have and not move or store your programs. Right? It's like, oh, I'm going to move my... No, you're not going to move anything off the DirecTV. About the only way I know how to save your movies and your TV shows when you upgrade your drive is to pay $59 to Weeknees. The Weeknees.com folks, they've been doing uh, DVR upgrades forever. You ship them your DVR, they copy the contents of the new internal or external upgrade, then they ship the whole thing back to you. If there's a way to do this, like get your hacker on and do it yourself, because your content is locked down pretty tight inside the, you know, because the operating system, it's all stored on the drive. As soon as you put a new drive in there, it basically reinstalls the operating system. Oh. And, or, and, you know, like I want to say it's like a firmware hard drive operating system combination. In any case, it's locked down pretty tight. I don't know anybody who knows how to do this DIY. I can't find it. I've been looking for a couple years. My so. experience with Dish Network's DVR hardware on the satellite mm -hmm. side of things was that, I could add that. I could add an external hard drive, but right. they had to enable that service on their end first. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure if there was a fee involved or not. But then I could I could move my content to that because I, right. I was I was wanted to do a DVR upgrade, but I needed some specific content I had mm -hmm. saved on this DVR over the years. Not going to happen on Directv. Yeah, but I, th I think it was possible with Dish. I want to say, and, but it was it was a little convoluted, involving you know you got to talk to them and make sure it's all cool, and then they got to like basically move that drive to the new system right. and make sure everything's legal and cool. But I think it's possible with. Dish hardware, but that's unfortunate with Direct TV. Yeah. Hey, if you really want to make me and, and Paul happy, do us a favor, email us uh, hcnation at revision3.com with a way to move your Direct TV content to the new drive and still access it through Direct TV. <laughs>